It's Monday and I got prezzies. Okay, now that you're done seeing my fat arms shake around, I did get presents in the mail today. My Some of my prizes from uh, getting second place in the Twilight Clue contest. Amy got uh, one of hers too because with Robston Lovers that gave us the bracelets, we uh, got them in the same package. But I got the bracelet from Robston Lovers. Whoop, whoop. Thank you, ladies. I got... The bracelet from the Danger Magnet, who is like my favorite blog in the world. I love you. And then I got a button from Robson Lovers. And the coup de gras. I don't know why I just said a French word with a Spanish accent. Whatever. I got this from Twilight Parents Examiner. Also Twilight Moonlighter Kim. The three disc edition of Twilight so freaking excited because I only have the two disc edition and the third disc has so many other like extras. I'm so excited to watch this. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Anna Christina. Thank you, beautiful ladies of Robson Lovers. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to more prezzies. Okay, so on to the show. Today on Manipulation Monday, I've decided to go back to hand-drawn art. I found a new place called Twilight Archives and I'm going to leave the link over in the sidebar. So you all can go and check it out. Three wonderful artists, three beautiful hand-drawn pieces of art. All of the hand-drawn art I'm going to show you all today has nothing to do with the movie. All of these artists had a description in their head when they read the books of what they believed these characters looked like. And that's how they drew them. So there aren't going to be any pictures of Taylor, Kristen, or Rob being drawn today. It's going to be what the artist interprets. This first art piece is by an artist with the username Taxi. It is a charcoal drawing of their interpretation of Jacob. And I think personally, I think this is really beautiful. They're obviously very, very talented in my opinion. And this is how they saw Jacob. And I think it looks really good from the description that the book gives of Jacob, this is Jacob. If they hadn't picked Taylor Lautner or they never made the movies, if I looked at this picture, I could definitely see Jacob. So for this beautiful drawing by Taxi, I give three apples. The second fan art is by a artist with the screen name Scissor Hero. All of these links today are going to be over in the sidebar per usual. This is actually a graphite art piece called Bella Unsure. And this is the artist's interpretation of what Bella may look like. And I have to say, you all, this is beautiful. I mean, they have Bella looking plain but beautiful. And before knowing Kristen Stewart was in the movie and knowing what to expect from how everyone would perceive Bella from now on with the face of Kristen Stewart. This is perfect. She's got simple eyes. She's got a little bit of a wide nose, but it still goes with her face, you know? And she's got those beautiful full lips. She's got a heart-shaped face with a rounded type chin. You know, she looks perfect. She's got her hair in this sweet back ponytail, kind of a messy look. Exactly how I would picture Bella. Bella, until she becomes a vampire, is very plain looking. She's supposed to look plain looking. She's supposed to look like an everyday girl. She's not supposed to look drop dead gorgeous. And I think this art piece particularly fits that to a T. So Scissor Hero for Bella and Shore gets four apples. This next drawing is very unique, I think. Compared to all the other fan art that I have uh, reviewed, this is the most unique, but I absolutely love it. This is by an artist with the screen name Angelic Muse. 
this is apparently a huge piece. It is actually a 20 by 30. And this not only shows Bella's passion for Jacob, Bella's passion for Edward being torn between the two. It also incorporates all the book covers. Every single book cover. It is so awesome. I absolutely love this book, this art piece because it is so modern and so different. I love how she uses the eclipse ribbons to border it. The transformation between like human and wolf, being caught between two men, uh, being blinded. I just, oh, I love it. And the, the new moon flower right down at the bottom. Um, they also have con um, two hands put together for um, the representing the wedding. I just, I love this piece. This is this is my pick of the week, you all. I have contacted the artist. I'm hoping she will uh, be able to see this and see how much I, actually, I absolutely love it. Pick of the week, five apples. The question of the day from Friday was a little morbid. I'm very sorry about that. I was just having a really weird day, so I'm very sorry. But my answer for question of the day from Friday is, unfortunately, yes. I do believe that there are cuckoos out there. There are girls that are so obsessed with Robert Pattinson that they would take their own life. And that makes me really sad to say that. But yeah, he has reached that kind of fandom. If girls are practically ripping him apart and leaving crazy doodly notes on his car, then yeah, there's probably at least one girl out there that would take her own life if he passed away. Today's question of the day isn't really a question, it's more of a request. I want to know what you all would like to see on Manipulation Monday. Would you all like to see hand-drawn art or digital art? Would you like to see uh, manipulations of posters? Would you like to see something a little bit more adult? Is there a specific place that you could suggest to me to go and find Twilight art? Who do you want? the art to be of in particular. Do you want me to do a certain theme day where we do like an Alice day? Like Amy a couple of weeks back did a Jane theme where all of the art was about Jane. I want to know what you would like to see because you all are our viewers and our blog readers and we love you and we want to make sure that you are happy. So what would you all like me to review next? I'm going to let you all do that and process that and leave comments, leave blog comments. If you're going to our blog or if you're watching this from our blog, leave blog comments, leave comments in the chat box. Let me know what you all want to see, okay? Till tomorrow, everyone. Be safe.